Hi everyone! In this video I will show you how to set up ASUS DUI Wi-Fi router as a repeater. This is AX6000 model in front of me and I'm pretty sure you understand if you really want to use such a powerful router as a repeater, your main router should be even more powerful because there is no point in setting up a faster router as a range extender for a weaker one. Also, uh, repeater mode isn't always the best option, so in this video I will explain uh, when it makes sense to use it and when it's better to go with a different operating mode. So, to enable the repeater mode, first, do not connect your main router and your repeater via Ethernet cable. Uh, yes, later you can use these outputs to connect computers or secondary access points, but nothing should be plugged in to WAN port, otherwise repeater mode just won't work. All you need is connect the power cable to your router and press the power button. Now the indicator turns on blue, then it will start uh, smoothly flashing amber like this and then it will turn blue again. It means the router is ready for connection. Also, if your router was set up as a regular router before, it's a good idea to do a hard reset before setting up as a repeater. Uh, there is the hard reset button on the back panel so you need to grab a pin and press and hold this button for about three seconds until you see blinking white indicator over here then release the button and wait for the stable solid blue signal and then proceed to connection to start setup, I recommend you to connect your computer to ASUS Rotors network. Why not smartphone? Because in ASUS Rotor application there is no option to switch to a repeater mode, so you have to use web interface and computer is the best option in this case. If you have more than one ASUS Rotors in your home or office, it makes sense to take a look at the product label on your router and check the SSID, so you need to connect exactly to this network. So, let's open Wi-Fi settings, find ASUS network, first connection is without password, connect. Uh, then open any web browser and in the search bar type in the router's default IP address. By default it's uh, 192.168.50.1, so enter this value, hit enter and it takes you to the web interface. In this window you need to scroll all the way down, then check this checkbox, I am above the age of 16 years, agree. Once again scroll down to make this button active, agree, wait for a while. And this is the welcome screen, so scroll down and find advanced settings, that's what you need. And click on choose operation mode. Now let me briefly explain you what the separating modes are all about and how they differ from the repeater mode. So a repeater doesn't create its own Wi-Fi network, it just extends the signal of your existing network. So you need to place your repeater in the range of your main rotor to receive and broadcast the signal. So repeater just repeats. Uh, access point connected to your main rotor via Ethernet cable and creates its own network. So if you have an option to put a cable through your walls or ceilings, it's always best to set up access point instead of repeater because wired connection is always more reliable and faster than wireless. Media Bridge doesn't create uh, any Wi-Fi network at all. It just receives Wi-Fi signal from your rotor and then you can connect different devices devices via cables to this media bridge to provide internet to them in the case if your devices uh, don't have Wi-Fi. And AI Mesh automatically creates seamless Wi-Fi network across your home, but two conditions. First, uh, all devices in AI Mesh must be by ASUS brand and all of them must support AI Mesh. Uh, so let's set up as a repeater. Now it's searching for Wi-Fi network nearby. And now you need to select network you wish to extend. Let's extend this network. Enter your existing Wi-Fi password from your network.
you can click on this eye icon to see what you type in. So once entered, click next. Select automatic IP if you don't want to assign it manually. Personally, I don't want to uh, spend time on it. So let's click on previous and set up automatic IP. So uh, now uh, it creates the repeaters network, but I recommend you to delete this RPT abbreviation and for 5G as well, because uh, because guys, it creates like seamless network and you don't have to connect to your uh, repeater separately. You will just walk across your home and your device will automatically connect to corresponding network and the highest speed possible. So uh, keep the name the same as your main network and password as well. Uh, hit apply. And now you need to create router login name to manage settings of your router and create password. Then click next. So you're all set, internet connection setting is finished and now you can just close this window. Uh, don't forget to write down your password if you change uh, the password at the previous step and just close this window and continue using your internet. I recommend you to complete the entire setup process in the same room where your main rotor is. But after this, you can unplug your freshly created repeater and plug in somewhere else, maybe in next room or in uh, somewhere else in Wi-Fi dead zone. But uh, keep in mind, you have to uh, place the extender within the rotor's range. Make sure you have the Wi-Fi signal.